This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to a one night only special here on the channel. We're going way back into the archives this evening for the kind of content I'm about to bring you. The old Dolany TV midnight upload on a Saturday night. Oh boys, you know there's something about to be said here that's critical to everything you need to know about this Colorado Avalanche Edmonton Oilers playoff series. And I can't wait to tell you because it is simple as this. The Edmonton Oilers do not deserve the level of play they're getting out of Yes Arvey. And this is not a negative comment. This is not a rain poor criticism on yes Puliarvi comment. This is a praise B comment for yes Puliarvi and the level of pray, play of which he has brought to the Edmonton Oilers. It is phenomenal what this young man has done in these playoffs for the Edmonton Oilers and the Oilers have simply squandered every single opportunity to reward him. And everyone's going to blame Jay Woodcroft for that. Rightfully so, the lineup is determined by the head coach. However, Jay Woodcroft is playing with a weak hand, dealt to him by Ken Holland on this one, where you have a guy that specifically is only really useful in the playoffs at this point of his career in Zach Cassian, who is handcuffing the organization with a multi-million dollar contract that comes from having a great playoffs and his best season of his career, essentially, with the Edmonton Oilers riding shotgun with Connor McDavid some odd number of years ago. And realistically, when you're building a lineup, you're going to take heed either way as Mr. Jay Woodcroft. And if you're looking at it, right? Okay, sure. Zach Cassian top line, that gives Connor a physical edge. That gives Connor this. That gives Connor that. Okay. And Pugliarvi on the third line allows Nugent Hopkins to be as creative as he dang wants because he's going to have the puck on his stick a lot because Pugliarvi is going to get it for him to him and away you go. Makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. However, when you look at anything, yes, of Pugliarvi, other than how he finishes a body check, that's the only point of criticism I can possibly have against the young man. It is physically impossible for any person with a brain to say this kid should not be playing top line minutes for the Edmonton Oilers in game four and should not have been playing top line minutes for the Oilers in games one through three of the Stanley Cup playoffs Western Conference final in 2022. Absolutely ludicrous if you think otherwise. However, folks, simple as this, right? The Edmonton Oilers are one game away from the offseason. Whether you like it or not, whether you're saying I'm giving up or not, we are one game potentially away from the offseason at this point. And I don't think a single soul in Oilers land can blame Yessa Pugliarvi looking for greener pastures at this point. This young man at one point was an enemy of state on Dolany TV. I'm, I'm going to own that fully. I did not believe in him. I did not believe that he was at all going to be the player he has been. But this young man came in after requesting a trade out of Edmonton, after sitting a full season in Carpot, and ended up coming back to the Oilers, giving the Oilers another chance, doing every dang thing he could do to become an elite player in areas of the game that the Oilers so desperately lack, and that he has done sensationally. Advanced analytics people, go nuts in the comments. I don't need to hash it out for you. You're already sold. It's more or less the people you call the numbskulls that you have to hash it out with. You don't have to hash it out with me anymore. I get it. Trust me, I do. I've seen the light, whatever you want to say. However, my friends, here we sit with a chance to determine in one game potentially which way this debate goes. And as the Oilers, if you're willing to walk away from Yessa Puliarvi, if you're willing to watch him walk on to those greener pastures, what is the plan here? Is it to play Dylan Holloway top line next season, game number one of the season with Connor McDavid? You, you can kind of sell me on that, sure. 
But then why is he not playing for Zach Cassian tomorrow? Or yeah, tomorrow night, I guess. Today is already Sunday. Tomorrow night in game four. Because I can almost guarantee he won't be. Why is Carter Savoy not in the lineup? Why it right? You get where I'm going? You get where I'm going? Right? Is if you're willing to let that amount of young talent walk out of the lineup and sign or be traded somewhere else for what you will get a weak hand dealt with because if you have to trade that level of talent, you are not dealing from a position of strength. I'm sorry, right? It's the same thing I argued with with Puliarvi enough times over when we were enemy of state, yes, of Puliarvi on Dolany TV, is it the fact that no matter what, you're dealing with a weak hand because at that point he had asked for a trade, but at this point, you have squandered the talent that has fully shown itself at the NHL level, and you're trying to come up with some kind of return to salvage this kid walking out the door on you, and not by his fault at all. That's embarrassing, and it will be, as always, a classic Edmonton Oilers trade should it happen. However, as I said, you've got one game, one game to determine what happens. Does that one game give Yesa Puliarvi enough to say, you know what, I respect what you did to me in the playoffs. I haven't been here, done that before. That's fine. We'll deal with it next season, and I'll be even better. Give him the top line minutes in game four and let him rip. Win or lose, it don't matter. Just give it to him. Don't give it to him. Greener pastures await. And I sure as hope the people who are praising Puliarvi now, the people who claim that he is the best oiler on the ice every single night in this series, aren't ripping him for securing the bag elsewhere. Because if you are, you're a dang goof, and that's potentially even more embarrassing than what the Oilers do with the situation. But Oilers fans, my friends, as I know very well, as one myself, remain undefeated on the internet, as always. Folks, to sum it up one more time for you, simply put, the Edmonton Oilers do not deserve the level of play, the person and the player, the personality, and the hockey skill set that Yessa Puliarvi has brought to them, specifically in this Colorado Avalanche series. However, generally, this season where, given every opportunity, for the most part, they have managed to squander the talent available to them in Yessa Puliarvi. I'm Tyson. This is Dolan TV. Agree or disagree, I don't dang care. It's midnight. Now I'm going to bed. I am up on out of here.